If we're to achieve a cleaner, greener future, then we need the people with the right skills to take us there. That's why I'm here in Wales at the Centre for Alternative Technology, where they're creating the experts that the world needs in order to speed our transition to a low-carbon economy. Okay, so this is one of the ways up to this site. We're on a water-powered cliff railway, so we're already in green territory. Water is channeled into a tank in the top carriage until it's heavy enough to pull the lower carriage up. The brakes are released and gravity does the rest. CAT is all about uh, teaching people about sustainability, and it's about doing that in a way that lets them experience it in quite a hands-on way. So it's not just about having lectures or reading things, it's about coming here, experiencing the technologies like wind power and solar power, learning how they work, getting some hands-on experience actually with those bits of kit. CAT is unique in providing intensive practical teaching where students live and work on site, learning the hard science of green living. Okay, so it looks like they're insulating boxes. Um, I'm gonna see if they can tell us a little bit more about what they're doing. So essentially what we're building is 10 tiny little houses okay. and then we put a heat source in and then uh, what we're doing is to see how uh, effective thermal mass is uh, at regulating temperature. But before the thermal mass experiment can begin, the model houses need to be insulated to an identical standard. I think so it's really good to get the practical courses in because <laughs> here you're actually getting out and doing something and you're outside and you're kind of active and you're actively learning. Give me something to do, I'd, I'd love to give you a hand. Okay, take it we'll to the box. Alright, moment of truth. It has to be snug, otherwise we're in trouble and we've got to get out of here. If you push it right to the bottom first. Yeah, quite nervous, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Hey. Hey! So this, this is where we grow um, a lot of the food that the staff eat and the students eat um, and that we serve in the restaurant. It has two functions, really, the field. The first one is it provides us with some of our food, with, with fresh food, but also it's, it's a place where people come and, and learn about organic growing and learn about uh, how to grow food in a more sustainable way. I guess it's not the kitchen garden that it appears on the surface. Is there's something else going on here? Yes, there's a lot of flowers, aren't there? Yeah. As you can see. Yeah, yeah. So we're attracting beneficial insects to do some to help us to get rid of the black fly, the you know the baddies, if you like. Companion plants can reduce the need for pesticides by attracting insects whose larvae eat the pests. They can also release pest repellents called alleochemicals from their roots or leaves. So the more beneficial insects in the garden, the healthier the garden. Wow. Throughout the site are live examples of sustainable solutions with the largest range of installed renewable systems anywhere. And at its heart is the award-winning Welsh Institute of Sustainable Education, a state-of-the-art facility combining environmentally conscious design and sustainable building techniques. So here's our thermal mass workshop. Um, they've, they've got the boxes finished. I think they were as uniform as they were going for. What we're trying to do is calibrate the boxes that eventually we'll be doing these tests looking at thermal mass. So could you tell us a little bit about this space? We're quite proud of this. This is um, a rammed earth wall. Mm. It's um, thermally massive, which is interesting because this is some of the sort of research that the students are doing. Mm. So it acts as a kind of storage heater. Thermal mass can play an important role in cutting energy use by absorbing heat passively during the day and releasing the thermal energy back during the night when surroundings are cooler. The aim of the whole sort of um, building is to have a building that's healthy for the planet and healthy for its occupants as well. This is all the vegetarian meal that we get in cats, all grown locally. What for you makes this place feel special? 
that there's no com competitiveness. You know, you are actually trying to work together to try and achieve your potential, and everybody will actually help you to do that. And that's not just with lecturers, that's with students. So, so would you say this place is unique in Europe? I would, yeah. We're, we're the only place doing this, really. Well, fingers crossed we see more like them in the future. Thanks so much for, for showing us around. It's, no been, a, it's been a pleasure.